Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the carbonyl group. The carbonyl group is one of the most important functional groups in organic chemistry and we'll have a look at all the different types of chemistry you can get with the carbonyl group in later tutorials. In this tutorial I just want to explain a few different types of functional groups that contain the carbonyl group. In here we've got the alkyl group as uh, R but this just represents an aliphatic group. You can also have pH and AR to represent aromatic groups and I've thrown a few here like the indole and anthracenes. A carbonyl with two carbons either side of it is called a ketone and these are quite common uh, functional groups. Replacing one of the carbons for a hydrogen gives you the next type of functional group called aldehydes and they always have a terminal hydrogen there so you can't extend the chain any further. But there's no reason why you can't have an aldehyde branching off from a chain just like shown here. Replacing the adjacent element with an OH group gives us a common carboxylic acid. Replacing the hydrogen of that carboxylic acid with another R group gives us the carboxylic esters. Changing that functional group now to a nitrogen gives us a common functional group, the amides. Now this time if we replace both elements on either side of that carbon now to give us uh, two oxygens we get the common carbonates and if we replace one of those oxygens with a nitrogen we get carbamates. Now replacing both elements on either side of that carbonyl with uh, two nitrogens gives us the functional group urea or carbamide. Now the urea group is often found in nature and it climbs trees just like monkeys. No, I made that up. Where'd that monkey come from? That's it for now. Bye for now.